What's going on, y'all? This is your boy K coming to you with another video. This is my game five NBA Finals reaction. The season is over. The Warriors get it done. They bring the title back home to the Bay for the second time in three years. A lot of people believe, including myself, they probably should have been three years in a row, but they get it done 129 to 120. They defeat the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, in five games, like a lot of people predicted, uh, they were a the better team, you know, I mean, from the jump, from the jump, you know, a lot of that had to do with the addition of Kevin Durant. I mean, you look at the small forward position, the past two finals for the Golden State Warriors, you know, what Harrison Barnes gave them in 20, 2016 or lack thereof <laughs> and what Kevin Durant the fire the hunger the will you know the 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 starvation for that first championship you see what he gave him and it was just second to none second to none uh congratulations to the Warriors man I mean they took care of Ben as well except except for in game four the Warriors clearly clearly showed that they were the better team, uh, you know, from top to bottom. Uh, for Cleveland, LeBron James did he did everything he could. He uh, first man to average a triple double in the NBA Finals. Uh, my, like I said, I'm a LeBron fan. I hate to see him lose his fifth Finals. It's now three and five in the Finals. I hate to see him lose his fifth Finals, but uh, you know, I just felt that. You know, other than, nah, the whole series, it was, I mean, these, these four losses for Cleveland, you know, it, it was just, the, it was just the thing of LeBron not finish, excuse me, the Cavaliers, LeBron and the Cavaliers as a team not finishing games, not finishing games, you know, in the second half, in the fourth quarter, you know, they did not finish games, you know. Obviously, a lot of people believe, you know, this series will still be going on if Cleveland would have finished game three. You know, if oh, if Cleveland would have finished game three, I'm watching the highlights, Eagle Dallas dunk. Uh, Eagle Dallas huge in this game, but yeah, uh, get to that later. But yeah, Cleveland just could not finish. It was mental, mental defense, defensive, uh, mental breakdowns late. That 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 helped uh, the Warriors uh, stretch their lead, and you know James. Uh, yeah, I like I said, like, you know, a lot of his points came in garbage time. My my thing is, James just gets too trigger happy with that three pointer when that's not his when that's not the strength of his game, and then Kyrie gets a little careless with the ball. I mean, that's just. That'd be, I mean the whole ISO ball thing, the whole ice the ISO ball. That's that's what that's what really hurt Cleveland in this series, man. You know, the turnovers and turnovers at the inopportune times and then the offensive execution down the stretch just was not there. You know, and then the Warriors playing team basketball, you know, like playing with the four superstars, you know, all of those guys knew their role. They know their role, and they they execute their role to the best of their ability. And that's why they, again, will be called champions. You know, that's why they, they again, will be called champions because, I mean, I, I mean, I, I said, uh, say what you want. I criticized the hell out of Kevin Durant. I criticized the hell out of the Warriors, you know, for make, for making that move, for both both of both of them, you know, for KD going to the Warriors and for the Warriors pursuing K KD, you know. We all know the story. I'll repeat it. I'll still repeat it again. Durant with the Thunder last year was up three one over the Warriors. Uh, about to eliminate the Warriors, and they, they were about to go back to the. Uh, Finals again, but they lose three straight. Uh, 
Warriors going to the NBA Finals where they lose a 3-1 lead. You know, Draymond alluded to it in, in, alluded to it in the championship celebration where, you know, where, where he said, you know, they they came up short, you know, he felt he came up short, you know, getting, 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 getting those technical fouls and being suspended for game five, which really turned the series around last year. But, you know, like he, like he said, Kevin Durant was the consolation prize. And Kevin, Kevin Durant's probably the greatest consolation prize of all time. As especially you see it now, as it's, as a year later, the Warriors are back on top of the NBA again. You know, Durant's first win, first ring. I like said, say what you want, but I mean the, the 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 dude went out. The dude went out. And he won. He won this. He won his first ring. I mean, you know, like I said, say what you want about him coming to join the Warriors. I mean, my thing is he he. he he did, he didn't go along for the ride. He was the man the whole series. He he said he wanted to go after LeBron. He wanted to go after the, the rank of a uh, best player in the game. And I mean, I don't know. I <laughs> I mean, I still believe LeBron is just a little bit uh still over Durant. Obviously, Durant's a bit the better. Offensively, and his defense has improved tremendously. You know, you know the the rap, the rap, or the rap, the rap always is about uh, Durant. He's he's too 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 thin. You know, you get physical with him, he'll he'll uh, he'll he'll uh, he'll back off. He'll 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 uh, shy away. But he's come a long way, man. And. He went at LeBron all series. He went at Jefferson. He went at Shumpert. Anybody who they threw against him, he he, he slaughtered everyone. He he earned this championship. He earned it. I mean, I'm not even going, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. He earned this championship. He earned it. Um, but yeah, man, Warriors won the second title in the last three years. Look at the stats here. Again, I said James uh, finishes with a uh, triple double. He had 41 points, uh, 13 rebounds, eight assists in this one. Like I said, like I said, you know, James. I mean, the threes, you know, threes that he took in this series. I mean, he might have hit some, but he just got trigger happy at the end, you know. And I wish he would have kept with his mentality that he had. Like you know, LeBron just started scoring, you know. When the Warriors were up 16, you know, with about three, four minutes remaining, LeBron went on a run where he basically scored every point by getting the ball into the basket, being the ball to the basket. Maybe the Warriors were kind of, you know, giving it to him because, you know, they had a big lead. But, you know, I just wish that that was something that he did the entire series. And actually, that's 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 where I feel Cleveland loses the series. They 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 they, they took too many threes. <laughs> You can say it's fatigue, you know, between him, uh, James and Kyrie. Because, but you know, Cleveland had this series. Uh, Cleveland had the Warriors on the ropes when LeBron and Kyrie drove inside. You know, they either when they finished, they went, whether they either finished at the rim or they kicked it out to the shooters. And Cle and Cleveland just didn't do enough of that in this series. You know, they they just did not do enough. Uh, I mean, I was talking about Kyrie, 26 points, but he 22 shots, nine of 22. It's not very good shooting. Uh, seven of seven from the free throw line, six assists. You know, he I, I think he got careless with the ball. At some points, you know, the the rap about him is you know when he gets bored, he goes at his own. You know, he go, he goes his own he goes at his own speed, his own motion. You know, and sometimes. That's not that's that that's not great. Sometimes that's not great, and you know a few play, you know, those those couple plays down the stretch in game three, and tonight late it really showed. Uh, he got the, I see the whole game. He got they say he got injured earlier in this in the in the game. Um, I think he say he hit his knee against uh, McCall or something. You know, it, was, it kind of slowed him down after that. 
I mean, J.R. Smith had his most efficient game of the series. J.R. Smith had a J.R. Smith type game. He was 9 of 11 from the field, 7 of 8 from three point range, 25 points. And I mean, he just did he he just wasn't shooting the ball enough early in the series. You know, he just wasn't shooting the ball enough like uh uh Lou came out Katara Lou came out and said that he wanted uh Smith to shoot more. He wanted Smith to shoot more and and he finally uh he finally did that. He finally did that. I mean, he was a big help. He was a big help in a uh, game, uh, game, game four, the victory for the Cavs. But this was by far his best game. Nine of eleven shooting, twenty five points. Um, uh, Tristan Thompson had fifteen points, six of eight shooting, eight rebounds, three assists. He also had three turnovers as well. Uh, obviously, a lot of that had to do with the you know pick and roll. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, pick and roll. Uh, Warriors defense did a hell of a job on that. Uh, again, you know, the rap on Thompson was, you know, how he performed the first three games of the series or how he didn't perform, you know, up to his standards. A lot of people are going to look at that, you know, especially after he signed a big contract. In the offseason. And then uh, Kevin Love. Kevin Love had up had two off games this series. And they really hurt Cleveland. Six points. Two of eight shooting. Uh, did not hit a three tonight. Two of five. From the free throw line. Ten, ten rebounds. I mean, not a good game for him. Obviously, you get that up, get that up to green. Defensively. Like I said, it was, it was going to be about who won that battle. Excuse me, it's going to be about who won the battle down low or who won the rebounding battle. It was it was obvious. Golden State, uh, Golden State won in the paint. You know, as far as getting getting those second chance points, that was a thing early early in the series when um, Golden State was missing shots. They were getting offensive rebounds and getting two or three extra possessions. You cannot give that team two or three extra possessions. You know, and Cleveland did that, and that's what what hurt them in this series. You know, when when a team like the Warriors miss a shot, you got to get the rebound, man. You got to get the rebound. You can't give. You cannot give these this Warriors team two or three extra chances, and they did that, and the Cleveland Cavaliers paid for it. But yeah, man. Uh, only, uh, that that's Cleveland starters. Uh, seven only seven points coming from the bench, which which you know, everyone will get flag at LeBron for being the GM for 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 saying we need they they need a different they need another score they needed guys like uh, Kyle Corver and Darren Williams. Neither one of those guys really stepped up for Cleveland in this series. Um, Iman Shumpert, although he has spurs defensively. Really didn't bring a lot of offense. Um, Richard Jefferson, uh, he he did a pretty good job on Durant in Game Four, but like I said, animal like Durant, he he wasn't going to be denied, and um, Jefferson's effect was minimized. You know, yeah, but I mean, a lot of people say you know LeBron needed help. A lot of people say LeBron deserved this. You know, I mean, uh, LeBron was the, uh, you know, was a man that started the super team. You know, say what you want. You know, a lot of people say LeBron deserves to get beat, you know, by a super team like this because he's the one that started. It is what it is. It's three and five in the finals. We'll see what Cleveland does to answer. I don't know how much they really can do. Because you got Tristan Thompson locked up. Because James is locked up for another year. He'll be a free agent after next season. Let's see what happens on that. I think I think Kyrie is uh, locked up. Love is locked up as well for um, another year or two or so each. Obviously, they need that 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 to match Golden State. They're gonna need that fourth guy. 
they're going to need that fourth guy. And I think it's going to have to come at this shooting guard position. I mean, like I said, uh, with all due respect to J.R. Smith, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I mean. I think. I think J.R. Smith would be better coming off the coming off the bench. To be honest. Yeah. But. You know. You know, a lot of people talking about Paul George or Carmelo Anthony. You know, or maybe even Dwayne Wade coming to come with LeBron to uh to uh, uh, uh Cleveland to play with uh, LeBron again. I mean. They're gonna have to make some moves, and then, but you know, they don't have any draft picks, so guys are gonna have to guys are gonna have to be moved. I, uh, they and this year they missed Delhi. As a matter of fact, I think the the one thing Cleveland missed in this series was their defense, defense, uh, defensive, defensive, uh, defensive mentality. You know. I mean, the the teams the past couple years, you know, even when they uh, if one two, even when they won two games against Golden State in 2015, that 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 defensive presence was there. You know, they, they, it was all about defense. You know, and people people will cringe when I say this, but Matthew Delvadova was a big part of that. And losing him to Milwaukee, that's what they. they like I said they they not only missed him being a floor general. Being being a back of four general, they also missed his presence on the defensive end. Like they said, uh, um, Delvado was basically the best, the second best player beside LeBron in that 2015 final for the Cavaliers. You know, especially with his defense on Curry the first three games. You know, then Curry finds a stroke the stroke then the, the last three, and uh, Cleveland, excuse me, and the uh, Warriors closed out in five, in six. But you know. Delved over, delved, over, delved over in 2016, he, he had a big role as well. But, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I just think Cleveland lost their defensive edge this year. They, 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 got, they got more offensive, you know, with Corver, with Darren Williams to try and uh, stay, start trying to keep up with the Golden State. And that's eventually, you know, you're not going to outscore a team as uh as 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 high powered as as the as the Golden State Warriors are, and uh, even though they put up 137 points a game for you know you still ain't going, uh, you still not going to you you're not going to beat a team like that for four games, you're not going to outscore the Warriors for four games in a series, and the Warriors proved that. Uh, but yeah, I just think Cleveland lost their defensive edge. And that's what really hurt them. And then uh, looking at Golden State stats, obviously Durant, 39 points. Very efficient shooting, 14 of 20, 5 of 8 from 3, 6 of 6 from the line, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. Obviously, finals MVP. Uh, like I said, the dude just wouldn't be denied. Him, him and Curry, man, I mean, they play like the superstars they are. You know, Curry, having to hear about the last couple – NBA Finals uh, performances. Uh, I mean, this dude balled out. This dude balled out. I mean, if it wasn't for Durant, Curry would be the MVP. I, I'm I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't show Curry some love and give him a piece of the MVP. They, I, I really think they should have been co-MVPs. That's how good Steph Curry has been in this series as well. Obviously, he didn't have a good game four, but, you know, I mean, hell, they, they were chanting MVP for Steph Curry when after the, after it was over. He was he's basically unsung MVP. Curry was the Curry's the Curry was his the last couple of years. Curry's been a man for the Warriors. Back to back MVP, first unanimous MVP. You know, he put all that put all that aside, put his pride and all that aside in order to win a championship. And he was one of the main guys in bringing Kevin Durant in. You know, he knew that. Bring Kevin Durant in would, you know, take the limelight off of him. But I mean, he did what he did what was best. Just like Durant, he did what was best for his basketball career, which was bring Durant in. And like I said, both all three, all four of those guys play their role to the fullest. 
and they and they, they're just a world well well oiled machine, you know, a very well very well oiled machine. Uh, Draymond Green, ten points on three of ten shooting, two of two of, uh, two of five from three, twelve points, five assists. He you know he he his scoring went down this year, obviously with the rant there, but his defensive presence picked up picked up more than it already or already was. It was he already had a big defensive presence, but he I think he elevated that even more. You know, c- clearly the uh, defensive player of the year. You know what he did with Love and how he helped out with Tristan Thompson. I mean. Like I said, he's basically the defensive MVP. He's the heart and soul of the Warriors. Uh, I mean, what else can you say? He's, he's the man that get, that comes in and get, that brings his lunch pail, and and and, and he, he brings brings his hard hat to work. You know, get does does all the nitty gritty for them and. Like I said, like I said, that's just a part. That, that's just his role with the team. His role, you know, Clay Thompson. Again, he struggled in this game. He struggled the last couple of games, and we had 11 points on 4 of 13 shooting in this game. But this series was really about his defense on Kyrie Irving, on LeBron James. You know, uh, his defense was huge. It was huge. It, I mean, I mean, like I said, him and him and Draymond. I mean, the defense. Their defense, you know, like I said, as good as, as great as this team is offensively, they're even better. See, they're, they're just well, not maybe not better, but they're just as good defensively as as they are offensively. And defense wins championships, and like I said, they had they had the best defense in this series. You know, staying with LeBron, staying with Kyrie. I mean, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green were a big part of that. Like I said, Durant was too. Durant was too. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going. to Say Durant wasn't so. Like I said, like it's what those three guys were able to do defensively. Durant, Thompson, and uh, Green, which was just as important to this championships to this championship as what they did offensively. Uh, let's see. I want to talk about the 2015 Finals MVP, Andre Iguodala. His defense on LeBron James, the strips, you know, and uh, uh, and then twenty points, scoring twenty points. I remember how big he was scoring in the twenty fifteen championship. You know, like I said, his his defense and his timely scoring, like man. I mean, you see, you see why the dude won MVP. He was not that's nine of fourteen shooting. He had that big jam early in the game. Um, Hitting key timely three pointers down the stretch. I mean, I mean they call it the death lineup when they uh is 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 Curry Thompson, uh you put equal dollars in for Zaza Pachulia and then Durant Green, and they just there's a reason why it's they call it's called death. They 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 kill you. They kill you. You know, the best defensive lineup, heck, the best offensive lineup. You know, they 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 maul you. They they take his soul. They took the Cleveland Cavaliers' soul. They took every team's soul that, that, that stood in their way, you know, and that's why they were able to be called champions. Again, congratulations to the Dubs. Second title in three years. Like I said, probably should have been a three-peat. I forgot to say uh, Curry at 34 uh, points off of uh, 10 to 20 shooting. I'm watching his interview on uh, Scott Van Pelt on ESPN. He had 10 assists and six rebounds as well. Like I said, Curry. If anything, I I I I, 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 I know Durant had a great series, but without what without Cur without what Curry did, I mean this this championship definitely wouldn't be wouldn't be possible. Uh, Curry, a two time champ now. I'm just reading a little thing on ESPN. He's a ninth player in the NBA history with two NBA titles and two MVPs. Uh, obviously LeBron's in there. Kobe's in there. Uh, uh, I think Shaq's in there. I think he won two MVPs. You know, all the greats, Jordan, uh, all them. <laughs> but yeah, 
Yeah, man. Warriors 2017 champions. 129, 120. They went in five. Revenge is the dish best served in five games. <laughs> LeBron knows that for sure because you know, been on the end of the uh, on, of this one in the 2014 Spurs redemption tour. You know, I mean, LeBron got and got his championship last year. You, you you wonder if this was his last shot of winning the championship in Cleveland. Obviously, he bought the he bought the elusive title. To Cleveland, that you know, uh, everyone, everyone in Cleveland wanted. You know, there's rumors about him leaving after next season, going to going to the Lakers. You know, going out to L.A. where his house will again. You remember, he was vandalized. You know, with the racial slur. You know, but I mean, LeBron did what he could. I th- I personally think he could have did more, especially in the fourth quarter. You know, stop selling for those threes. You gotta, you know, gotta stick to your uh, stick to your game, but I mean, just like I said on my social media, my Facebook, and my uh, my uh, Twitter, I got to put my Facebook back in there. I'm back on Facebook, but uh, well, at least for right now, you know, Curry and Durant, they're big too. You know, both of those guys had uh, chips on their shoulders, and they came up huge. They came up too huge. They wouldn't be denied. They would not be denied, and Steph Curry, you know. Is again a champion, and Kevin Durant is, just, is tasting the uh, tasting it for tasting the championship glory for the first time. Obviously, a lot of people, you know, are going to put an asterisk next to uh, this championship for this team, for Durant, for Curry, and all that. But you know, they they're playing beautiful basketball. They're playing beautiful basketball. They're playing as a team. They're playing as they're playing as a team. Any one of those guys can hurt you at any time, man. Uh, I mean, it's it's crazy. It's it's, it's crazy. Why I think Curry is a free agent after next year. You you know, the Golden State's gonna lock him up. Durant's even come out and said he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna take more take less to stay. You know, uh, well you know not 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 really the thing is what what does Thompson do? You know, because Thompson you know third or fourth fiddle. You know, uh, see what you wonder what wonder what's, what's gonna happen with him. You know, if if a team throws him a lot of money, you know, what what is he gonna do? Is he gonna walk? You know, is he gonna become the man? He's gonna be like a like a James Harden, you know, except he might not be forced out like James Harden was, but you know, is he gonna be like James Harden? Is he gonna take a lot of money? He's gonna take a lot of money to lead a team and by himself, or is he gonna stay? I mean, the Warriors are bad, man. They some bad boys, and they're gonna be some bad boys for for another couple, at least at least the next three years. You know, you wonder does LeBron have that piece in Cleveland, in, in, in Cleveland? You know, or you know, what the the I mean, the NBA landscape is going it's going it's going it's going to change a lot, man. It's going to change a lot. You know, I mean, you got San Antonio, who I think is chomping at the chomping at the bit. Kyle, Kyle Kawhi Leonard is going to be chomping at the bit next year to come back. You know, and 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 pr- prove that he could that they could have beat that team if Kawhi could have if Ka- if uh, Kawhi would have stayed healthy. Um, you gonna have uh, the Pelicans in the West? Like I said, if I, if, I, if they had that guy, if they had that, if they had Paul George or Jimmy Butler or something like that, with uh, Cousins and Davis in the post, you know. They're going to be formidable next year, I believe. You know, the West is always stacked. The West is always stacked. But then you look at the East. You know, Kyle Lowry is a free agent. <laughs> you know, Toronto's run might be over if Kyle Lowry doesn't resign with them. Of course, you still have Cleveland as the uh, top dog in the, in the East. You wonder what the Knicks are going to do with Melo. You know, or if Melo will waive his no trade clause and. Phil Jackson can finally get the middle out of New York like he wants to do, you know. It's going to be interesting, man, but obviously uh, the Warriors are champions and will and will be the favorite to be champions for years to come. Again, congrats to the Warriors. Thank you guys for watching. I wish y'all nothing but positive vibes only, and I'll see you on the next video.